It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How are you doing? And for all the bitches who are trying to take pretty on purpose, bitch, you could never sit with a bitch like me, whore. Anyway. <laughs> These girls out here trying to run like they just pretty. Bitch, you're not pretty, you're pretty ugly. I'm just playing. So yeah, I just wanna thank you guys for returning on another Monday. Like I always tell y'all, it is so hard getting through a week in today's time. It's the stress, it's the drama, it's the bullshit, it's the thieving. <laughs> the thieving. <laughs> you know what? Bitch, I oughta fuck you up! Girl, I just wanna. Oh! Girl! You know, girl! Mm. You just got saved, bitch, because I was about to work your motherfucking face in, bitch. Anyway. Um, so shout out to y'all to returning back on another Monday because y'all mean so much to me. Without y'all, child, I don't know. Where would I be? So um, before we start, y'all, I woke up late. So I am running behind. We're going to have to run through this shit like some diarrhea, baby. Okay, but we still go talk about the mess. But before we do, I want to shout out to my friend, and that is Amir. Hey, bitch. Amir, thank you so much for having my post notifications on, on Twitter. It means so much. You ride with me on Twitter, bitch, and you are my friend, and I fuck with you. And for you to show your appreciation to me, now I am showing it to you, baby, okay? Um, thank you so much. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You're amazing and continue being you. Hey, bitch. All right, y'all. Let's go on and skirt it through this shit and we'll get to y'all's favorite part. And that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea. Where you girls love staying in some shit. First, the sugar honey iced tea, we have Duke Dennis and Kaylee. Kylie, Kylie. Whatever. Word on the curb is they done broke up. So, Duke, if you are single and ready to mingle, you can come on over here. Because, baby, I just have a girl. They done broke up. And that's what the girls is gagging at because they was together for a little minute, wasn't they? So, anyway, she went on her Twitter and she wrote, Spot on the roster just opened up. And that is crazy to me. <laughs> Spot on the roster? Baby, how many niggas you got on? Oh, on that motherfucker. That is, that's wild. <laughs> Spot on a damn roster. Y'all better run, that's a red flag. So the people in the comments start going crazy, like wait a minute, oh my God, you single. Did anybody notice how Duke and Kelly unfollow each other? And I'm just like, well baby, let me go on over there and see what's going on with the girls. <laughs> Trying to see spot on the damn roster. Nigga, you just got cut from the team. <laughs> Do better, sir. <laughs> Do better, sir. Good God, was he not coming to practice? <laughs> so I guess y'all better send her the white water to feed her pasta and lox. <laughs> It, his spot is secured. But some folks are saying they saw this coming when he had that girl on his stream. And then the other folks are saying, well, child, they had already broken up before that. So I. I don't know what's really going on. Maybe y'all can help me out with these comments so we can mix and mingle and talk about the talk about. But girl, we ain't the one to gossip though. But look, if you run the Twitter when you break up with somebody, baby, you've been waiting to be single. <laughs> you hear me? Child, mm. Damn, what happened, 1987? <laughs> y'all is crazy. I ain't fucking with y'all. Well, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's kiki. Next case. Next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Crystal. Child, it's another breakup. What happened, Crystal? Was she just 
all here fussing with Tay. Damn, I thought your bag was secure. <laughs> Guess it got hot outside. Well, her and Jazz done broke up after all, after all of that. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so sad. You was going so hard. Guess you got cut from the team, from the team too. Jazz, it's a, it's a spot on the roster. <laughs> Crystal took the, she took the Twitter. She said, no, no more relationships for me, dawg. <laughs> Little girl. Ain't that what she said after the other niggas? And when they broke up the first three times? Child. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm so tired of being hurt. I be genuinely putting my all into this shit. I'm not, I'm not laughing at her pain. I'm not laughing at her pain. It's just. It's just damn. <laughs> it's just damn. This. It. What is it you just talking about? It's the small thing. Golly. The sun come out here. Y'all don't know how to act. So somebody said, girl, how'd you go from the small thing to that? You just single. And she said, yeah, I know, right? I am sorry. I'm not laughing at her pain. It's just so fucked up. Jazz, did you go back to Tay? What is... What is happening? Cause we saw the signs, you know what I'm saying? But if you didn't, it's just, what is going on? <laughs> what, is, what the fuck is going on? But word of her, I don't think she went to take. Cause remember, didn't Tay say she wanted some, she wanted some real dick? But, <laughs> that's probably just out of anger. Let's just give them three business days. They'll be back together. Y'all know how this shit go with Jazz. They'll be back, I don't know. But hell, uh, what's her name? Chris, ain't nobody told you to go gay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> and it just baffles me because J Jazz, Jazz don't be saying. <laughs> Jazz, Jazz don't be saying nothing when the girls argue, when they call her out for being, being a mess. Jazz, where is, where is Jazz? Jazz, you are better than Waldo. Where is Jazz? Because bitch, you never say shit. These girls be going through it. Maybe I need to test that little piece of rubber out. <laughs> well, we gonna leave it alone, child. Crystal was so out there worried about the ex. <laughs> when it should have been the relationship she needed to be saved. <laughs> Girl, how you just... That's, maybe that's why she was so mad. Well, all right. You know, the Renegade is running amok on you hoes. <laughs> but look, Jazz, everybody getting back together, maybe you should go back the thing. Mm, if it ain't about me. Let's kick it. Let's go. Next for the Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have In There and Dirt. And since we talking about getting back together, let's check this out. What up, Mr. Boys? Hey, it's India Royal. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And shout out to Soleil. You know what I'm saying? Neighborhood hero. You know what I'm saying? We feeding all the mothers out there. For me to you, blessings. Let's get it. Child, India, if you need help, baby, blink twice because you look like you was forced to make that video, girl. That man done captured you and, and holding you hostage. That arm around that neck had me choking. I was like, bitch, I can't breathe. But if that's where you want to go back to, girl, go back to your man, girl. My man, my man, my man. We thought you was done, sis, but you know. Hey. Outside ain't been outside in lately, huh? And word of her, people just saying, why is she back with this man after he cheated on her and got another woman pregnant? But they saying that woman that said that he got her pregnant is now saying little baby to daddy. So, honey, maybe she saw that and she just smoked it on back home, girl, you know? So half of us getting cheated on and our man broke. So, hey, I ain't saying that's better, but at least you get a little coin. And the gag is, looking at this video, child, <laughs> He trying so hard to make sure they happy and she is fed up. <laughs> they, don't let that fool y'all. It is turmoil. <laughs> it is turmoil, girl. Sometimes you would just go back to what you know and be miserable. <laughs> Why do y'all do that? Girl, please, I will just be single. But anyway, to each day on, we wish them the best of luck. <laughs> Ah, boo. If it ain't about me, 
Let's get key. Next case. Next with Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Ja Morant. Now, the Memphis Grizzlies had to suspend him again because Ja Morant went on live for the second time with a gun. I don't know. Like, did you not learn your first time? I understand the man is 23 and he's young and he makes mistakes. I get it. But there comes a point to where you have to hold yourself accountable and be responsible for the stuff that you're doing, friend. It's just, ah, uh, you got, isn't he like one of the highest paid? And you just want to let all that go just to hold a gun. Now, I know everybody can have a gun. You can own a gun. You should be able to do whatever you want to do with your gun if you want to put your gun up. But I guess it's because since he's supposed to be a role model or whatever the case may be, you're, you got to present yourself a certain way. But when you're also representing a brand, the NBA, Nike, whatever else. It's just certain things you can't do because these people may not do that. I'm not saying he can't live his life, but when you're involved with other people and you're the face for other people, you just can't do certain things. Now, people say we shouldn't blame your friend, but if I know that my friend is in the position that he's in, I'm just not going to pull no phone out and just start recording when we're doing reckless ass shit. Because it's like the friend just living his life. But, girl. <laughs> so, Jalen Rose came out and this is what he had to say. Video now. It's really unfortunate. And the one thing we learn as athletes, in particular those that are fortunate enough to make it to the professional ranks, is that we're required to be role models. We're required to be eligible and we're required to be role models. And that doesn't necessarily serve in other professions as entertainers, whether you're an artist or whether you're an actor. A lot of times this type of behavior is celebrated and or promoted. But when you're an athlete, it's punished. And for Ja to put himself in this situation just a short time after that scenario happened, I agree with Stephen A. This is going to be a 2025 game suspension. It's unfortunate also for the organization because now it puts a damper going into next season. All right, how well can you play if you're going to miss John Morant for so many games? But also, I got I, I to gotta also say this. He is 23. He just finished his fourth year in the league. And I'm personally just glad that social media didn't exist when I was in college or when I was in the league because, like I said before, I put myself in a lot of questionable um, positions and made a lot of poor decisions like we see him making right now. So I'm not going to talk about it like it's the end for him. I think there's still a future for him to still reclaim his decision making and put himself in position to not only be a role model, a parent. Because sometimes you have to hold people accountable for what they did so they can learn from it. But when you keep because you can have a gun, your right to bear arm, or whatever the case may be. But when you are in a certain type of position, there's just things you can and can't do. Like in church, you're not going to go in there and twerk. And even though you can twerk, you know, you have the right to twerk or whatever. And you have the right to wear whatever you want to wear. But there's a time and place for everything. And since he is a NBA player and you're representing a company, like you ain't going to go to work with a blunt in your hand and liquor and just say, oh, but I have the right to drink. That is their establishment. And when you are part of their establishment, it's just certain things you can and can't do. So instead of you just being in your house, buying all the guns you want, playing with all the guns you want off camera, you want to get in trouble for having a gun at a club, give a bullshit apology, and then show a gun on Instagram live. I've heard of NBA young boy, but you NBA dumb boy. You got to be the dumbest motherfucker in the league. You got $231 million promised to you, and you want to be a fucking thug? Yeah, it's okay for you to have a gun. You have a, 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 in our, you have a right. You have a Second Amendment right to have a gun. But what the fuck do you keep pulling it out menacing for? What is up with all this music you keep listening to? Is this music putting you in a trance, dumb boy? Because this music is about to cost you your career. You're going to be bouncing around with all day long, just listening to music in the backyard of a goddamn shack if you keep on being a jacket. You's an NBA dumb boy, and your friends ain't your goddamn friend. Because I done done dumb shit before.
And you know when I noticed a real friend? A real friend, they're going to tell you when you're wrong, and then they ain't going to argue with you, but they just not going to participate and go with you in the bullshit. Y'all tell me what you think in the comments, what you feel about the situation. Do you think the suspension is too much? Do you think it's right? What do you believe? And uh, yeah. John Morant, get it together, friend. You is too good to be out here acting like this. You have so much going for yourself. Do you know how many people want to be in your shoes? Come on now, friend. Tighten up. You got a whole daughter. <sighs> I hate it for him. All right, but it ain't about me. Let's keep keeping this. Okay. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Hannah Bailey and Mina, Ma Mina Masuda, whoever, Aladdin, whatever. Anyway, so child, this knucklehead had the audacity to go onto his social media and say, our film was unique and the audiences went to watch it multiple times. It's the only way we reached a billion dollar mark with our opening. My guess is TLM doesn't cross the billion mark, but will undoubtedly get a sequel. Let me tell you something, bitch. Let me motherfucking tell you something. We only watched Aladdin for Will Smith, ho. Fuck is you talking about puss ass punk? Let me tell you something. Watch him out. Did you not see how we turned up for Black Panther? Did you not see that? So now that you done said this, I'm gonna make sure I watch TLM while you trying to talk about BLM, you sneaky son of a bitch. Why you TLM? I'm gonna go watch TLM again and again and again and again and again to make sure we hit that two billion, bitch. Make sure y'all go out and watch Little Mermaid when it come out on, what is it, May 26th? Make sure you go watch Little Mermaid. So then everybody start coming up saying shit, and I really agree that Aladdin wouldn't have to leave his Twitter if he would have kept his mouth shut. You should have told the genie to give you a wish to shut the hell up. So black folks, it's time to show up and turn out because we got another hater on our hands, okay? Riff Raff, street rat. What the fuck is you talking about, ugly? But what you said, bitch. <laughs> Puss ass hoe. Bitch, we gonna do two. Worldwide. Anyway, well, if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's okay. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Derek Jackson and Dan Dania, Danny. Fuck all them A's in her name for Mrs. Jackson. Anyway, uh, he took to his Instagram on Mother's Day and had the audacity to even write her this message. Nigga, leave her the fuck alone. Pussy, what the fuck is you even bothering this woman? One thing a man gonna do is embarrass you and continue to mindlessly remind everybody about it. Like, nigga, really? Now y'all can pause it and read this sack of shit if you want to, but I'ma just gonna give the synopsis of this bullshit that he wrote. So basically he just said, she gave me the opportunity to just fucking disrespect her and do what the fuck I want to do and she was a doormat. That's what the fuck he said. Even in times you struggle to show up for yourself. Nigga, shut the fuck up, bitch. Y'all man probably wrote that shit in the fucking car too. Thank you for surviving all the horrible things I did to you. I haven't changed a bit. Happy Mother's Day is what the fuck you should have wrote. Even times you struggle to show up for yourself. Nigga, that is not a fucking flex. Like, that's a damn compliment, bitch. No, it's not. Somebody had the fucking nerve to say just because he cheated don't mean he can't celebrate her. Nigga, that's a backhanded celebration, stupid. You saying all this bullshit, oh, you this, you that, you a good mother, you should be praised, you should be this. Well, why the fuck you didn't praise her? Talking about she should still be celebrated, bitch. Celebrate me by leaving me the fuck alone. But y'all, meanwhile, she over there performing religious curses on this man. <laughs> And y'all see her Instagram? And did she tell us to go to hell or something? <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have DDG. Now, DDG, you really funny, nigga. You really funny. And you really is jealous. Because he went over to his, um, word on the curb is this is his, uh, you know, his little burn up Twitter where he just, you know, he could ramble and rant. So, child, he went over there and people were talking about how Hallie was at Chloe's concert with uh, Jonah. So, somebody had tweeted out, Jonah was with Hallie at Chloe's concert supporting her. And we didn't even know, oh my God. A man who is not seen or heard, a man who supports a woman's sister like this is a real man. So, then DDG seen the baby and he tweeted out, they really think this nigga got the willpower to take DDG's girl? He's not him. 
But baby, first of all, you was typing in third person. <laughs> And then you responded to it. So you must feel some type of way. Because if I didn't feel somebody couldn't take my bag, I'm not even going to respond to it, give it no attention, or even talk about it. So you must have felt some type of way. And then people were saying that's not his page, but somebody else was like, this is more proof that that is his burner page. So, child, I don't know. It's just, this is your girl's big break on her movie. And you out here doing all this recklessness. Maybe that's how you promote. I don't know. Y'all know he troll and do his stuff, but it's just... But all right, I'm going to leave it alone. Jenna is very similar to Prince Eric uh, because he is, I think he's a really good leader. He's a good example of a leader. He's very kind, compassionate, and also just curious, much like Prince Eric and has a thirst for wonder in the world. And I I really think he's he's very similar to Prince Eric, especially in the film. I told her to say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, then I'm going to speak for you, and I'm going to say Hallie is everything Ariel needed to be. Uh, she has that beautiful voice and she's so kind and she's so strong and she uh, knows who she is and she knows what she wants uh, and she's funny and she's uh, full of love for people and those are all qualities that Ariel has. So Thanks, it's good Jonah. casting. <laughs> it ain't about me. She just might leave DVD next game. All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the ducket, we have Lil Durk, NBA Young Boy, and Soul Boy. Chop this. <laughs> this is a kiki. I do sh I would have been scrapped. Y'all would have been far. Cut it out. You see me? You see me announce my mother album, and the next day you you announced your album. So get away. You lame. Come out, scary. All this. I do that sh on our own. Time. When y'all see a real gangster dropping the f out the way, the dirt. Where you scary as. If you gonna fight, young boy, go and fight him. It's scary. I know you see me announce my album. You ain't say nothing about no album. Next day you gonna hop on here talking about you almost here. Man, you almost lying. Talking about, is y'all scrap or what y'all gonna do? Other than that, all this back and forth sneak, this is shit going with that. What? Paint y'all nails, doing all type of and Stop playing with me. May 12th, closing season. He was tripping. That's what I'm saying. All this crap baby got going on. Where ain't nobody? What? What? May 12th, Soldier Season. Well, come to find out, Dirk didn't end up releasing his, but Soldier Boy and NBA did. And child, they were going at it. NBA had came back because Dirk didn't release his, and this is what he had to say. Then Soldier Boy came out and he said, Shout out Dirk for pushing his album back, real Nick. <laughs> baby. I love, I love you, DeAndre Cortez. Wait, but even with him doing it, who went and listened to your song, your little album? Ooh, like who would really just be out there and be like, "Oh man, Soldier album finna finna hit, <laughs> sir." So y'all know when Soldier will get a viral moment, honey, he's going to milk it. Me the little dirt. Don't compare me to YB. Then compare with me. I'm Big Draco. I've been in this longer than both of these put together. Stop playing with me. Check my fucking stats. I just went seven times platinum yesterday. Both of my first two albums just went two times platinum yesterday. And one day. Stop playing. Don't compare. Lil Dirk ain't never came out with crank that. Lil Dirk ain't never came out with uh, nothing. That's what I'm saying. He me. Young boy ain't never came out with crank that. Lil Dirk ain't never came out with crank that. Stop playing with me. Soldier season midnight. So then young boy responds and he said, that's a fact. It's gonna be nice to me to meet you too. <laughs> and Soldier Boy said, nigga, this ain't this ain't no this ain't no meet and greet. Soldier. This ain't Lord, have mercy, Jesus. This man. This man is. <laughs> this, this man ain't talking. This man ain't talking about no meet and greet, baby. You, you is Big Draco. You are stuck in 2007, sweetie. <laughs> you need to. You need to catch up. And I, I'm not saying Soldier Boy is scared of him because you know Soldier Boy did his thing. I hop out. I start shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Shot the nigga. Bow. Shot his ass. Bow, bow. 
All the niggas run out the door, they run out the door. This nigga on the flow. Feel me? Walk up to this nigga, take his, take his mask off his head, looked at it, saw who it was. I'm like, damn. Shot his ass again. Bow! He screaming and shit. Ah! And so what be having, he got some shooters, so, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Just thank you. Go take a go take a bath, stinking that little n mustache, little n shit mouth, that little n dent face, that little n before we put another dent in your head, bitch. Yeah, boy. You talking about you can't wait to meet who? Y'all don't want to meet me, y'all don't know me, for I ain't never one of these rappers, I ain't never one of these niggas, you know you. But you don't, you do not want to meet me. What you talking about? Y'all don't want to meet me. Y'all don't want to meet me. Put another dent in your head. What you talking about, boy? <laughs> Soldier boy, you definitely tell him. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to meet me. <laughs> Shit. All right, sir. I don't. If it ain't, if it ain't about me, let's get in. Next game. Next on the docket, we have Resume versus Armand. Now, y'all remember last week she was making her tweets about, you know, being single and all that other stuff. So, child, now it comes to find out she posted this and said two men tried to break into her house. Now, I was just thinking, like, okay, last week he's talking about you single. Now two men tried to break into your house. Child, this was Armand and Trey. <laughs> this was Armand and Trey. Because now she mad because she said this man, her own man didn't even call to check up on her. But the man went and made a YouTube video addressing the situation. Why, right, money you done broke into that girl? <sighs> but no, getting back to being serious. So after all of that, or whatever the case may be, and you know, she had broke up with him, I guess, because you know, he didn't even check on her, which I understand my man better check on me if somebody tried to break in my house. Two men at that, and you know, that's, that's my home. That's my safe space. So he goes and he makes a YouTube video. Um, Discussing the rumors, cheating, and all of that, and this is what he said. How do you feel about the cheating rumors? <laughs> Have you? Okay, so let's get this understood. Um, yeah, let's cut this all out. Like I said, I feel like when people can't really find nothing, they kind of like they kind of like make up stuff. But um, I have never, ever, ever cheated. Uh, day in my life, if I was committed to a relationship, I was committed to a relationship. I've never cheated. I don't come on here and. Like, right now, like, it's people waiting to see if I bash Nay. Like, I would never in my life come on here and do anything for views. I would never come on here and say, oh, you were wrong, and da 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 and I did this, and I did that. Like, I would never do that. So, like, y'all can just get off my page with the weird shit and get off my, just everything. Like, I'm not that type of person. Um, that's not ever what you're going to hear or see me doing. See that come from my way. Y'all will never see, because I feel like you do shit. That then it was just fake. Now I ain't no fake person. Like I can't get on here and get to talking and talking crazy and saying like it ain't nothing to say. You know what I'm saying? I love the girl. Like that's just what it is. So it's like I can't really say nothing else. And it's none of y'all fucking business. For like that's the thing. Like it, none, it ain't y'all business. So stop trying to think y'all know shit. Think y'all can figure it out because y'all don't know nothing. Like, so stop it. Y'all would never know nothing. I'm never going to be the type to come on here and get to say in my business. I would never go on, like, nowhere, no interview. Some lady hit me up a messy ass lady. I'm telling you because I know you watch my channel. I would never come on your interview channel and be saying shit about, like, cut it out. Like, that ain't what it is. If you're not here for music, then move along because you're not going to get nothing. Um, you feel what I'm saying? That was for me and her. And that's for me and her only. And that's for me and her to figure out. And that's for me and her to fix. People were telling them to talk it out. They were saying it was toxic behavior for her to come on the internet and and slash all their stuff up for everybody to see. And then baby, that took everybody into a frigid. They were like, girl, we weren't watching your YouTube channel until you start dating him. So how was he getting clout off of you? But I think she's probably thinking about clout off of like, you know, who her daddy is. And he want to do music. And is that why he really around her? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, girl, it's just a whole lot of her. Lie. Say because like my character like is being like diminished and like defamed and it's not that like I've been great to my lover. I've been great to Armand. Armand's been great to me, but it has been things where it's like weird stuff going on. So I'm like, 
it's all it's only how for motive. So I have to stay on my toes and when things like this happen, it's like, whoa, who was here for me? Were you here for me? Were you not? So it's like that, but I'm not trying to come on here and bash nobody. I love y'all. I love I love my y'all who's that is. Sorry, y'all. I love y'all who support me and who understands me. And just pray for both of us, me and our mom, because we both going through a lot and we're both good people. We have good hearts. We just some people go through things and you get through them. Or sometimes you just have to let it go and it's okay. I'm going through a lot. My emotions are everywhere. I'm human. I'm not a robot, y'all. I'm human. I bleed like y'all. Yeah, like I'm human, you know? So, like, when I see so many females bashing me because I go on Instagram and Twitter and I, like, I'm filled with emotions and everybody does it. Our generation, we grew up on that. We grew up on Facebook, MySpace, telling how we feel, telling what we going through. Like, but I can't do it because I'm Reginae Carter, so I can't, I can't do that. And if if I do it, it's like I'm bashing somebody. I'm, I'm a problem. But it's like that's not the case. I love very hard, and I'm very genuine. And something really big happened to me and the person who I love did not check on me but he made a YouTube video so yes so child I don't know baby I don't know what's going on I told y'all from the get go this whole relationship didn't sit right with me y'all was like oh Zal, you just hey it just didn't sit right with me honey it seemed like I'm gonna just hush because I really fought with Regine. But it just, at the beginning, it just, I, I, girl, I didn't see the mix. Y'all just saw two pretty people and thought that it was gonna be perfect. The way it all went down for me at the beginning, like, I just. Jazz. That jazz. <laughs> so, child, I don't know. And then here come YKO, man. Talking about some damn, I knew I would be the one. <laughs> Boy, if you don't go sit down. Cause he, he, y'all remember he said this? What's up, it's your boy Why Kill Size. I'm stepping in to say I want to shoot my shot. Regine, come on, just give me a chance. Just give me, I'm not like these other rappers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the world. Stop leaving me on red, baby. Please. I, I know you tired of the bull crap. Niggas doing dumb jump, but I'm not gonna do it. Your daddy gonna like me. I'm gonna give you the world, baby. Listen, and I'm smart. And I love God. <laughs> so then, they get into it in the DMs, child. And it's, <laughs> it's a fucking mess. And I'm just like, boy, didn't your baby mama <laughs> didn't your baby mama say you like men? Maybe that's what oh! <laughs> Is that why you <laughs> trying to get our more attention? <laughs> Better stop playing with Armand going in there fussing with him. Talking about some bring it bitch, you a bitch boy. Boy, do you not see when he got pranked on YouTube? Talking, you over there gonna sing to her. I can give you the word, baby girl. You just gotta be with it, boy. Know your word. Uh, um, I'm gonna just tell you this, uh, YK. <laughs> okay. You over there playing, Armand? What are you born there like, what? Sin City or something like that? They said, um, his, he claimed his daddy was, uh, Peanut. AKA Mr. BNB uh, from Detroit. All right. YK, give me the word. I'll be your baby girl and I'll be worth it. All right, y'all. If it ain't about me, let's get it. Next day. Next on the docket, we have Cuzzo versus Krishan. Baby, this is a mess. So, Cuzzo, honey, she let it all out. Came in VIP. You was mad I was here, so you got your weak ass friend to sneak me from the back and she still got beat the fuck up and I'm still pretty as shit. Don't play with it, don't play with it, bitch. Play with your motherfucking kids, bitch. Stop it. Fuck what you talking about. You're mad as shit. Then you're mad. And now I'm out and now I'm out to really embarrass you, bitch, on Jesus himself. And your friend still got beat the fuck up. T Jim still on that bitch ain't even do shit. Come on, how I get the fuck out of this door, bro? <laughs> oh God. Oh hey, God. Hey, you hey, in my hey, city hey, now, bitch. Hey, and you in my motherfucking city now, bitch. It's hell for you. 
Hold up, I'm on the phone, like, this bitch just, like, what the fuck just happened? Why the fuck am I getting put out? And she like, that bitch got you put out. This is not, this is not no fucking gimmick. No, I got money too, and I was staying in the apartment. He was texting me every day saying, watch out for that bitch. She, she got the drop on you. She know the address because she had my location. Blue had me in a fucking apartment. She kept asking Blue every day, is she in that apartment? Is she in that apartment? Yes, bitch. I was living there for two months. And y'all kept being nosy and being all in my fucking business while I was living out L.A. Bitch, I... Fuck you talking about? And he flew me to Puerto Rico, bitch. Stop. Yeah, you can have that title, boo. You can have that title, boo. You can have that title, blue. Yeah, and he was breaking the bread. He was spending her money on me. She don't even have a fucking bank account. All that money is going to him. She don't have an ID. She don't have a driver's license. She don't have shit. That's why he took control was her. I would literally not try to fight no bitch about no nigga that I don't even want my child. Are you seriously mad about me? Am I the drama or is that baby the drama? Now, I could see if she got an abortion tomorrow and she come square that shit up. But bitch, you hold pregnant. But when you when you drop that baby, Christian, I promise you, somebody, somebody scream, somebody scream record this. When you drop that baby, I'ma fuck you up, bitch. And I'ma I'ma do exactly how you do people. I ain't even gonna let you know. Since you like the she she like sneaking people so fucking you bad. Like they said sneak cuzzo and I'll give you a wrist brand. And you wanted to do it. I said, I saw I let the bitch have her little have her little moment doing that. She like, yeah. I said, all right, square that shit back up. The security like, nah, let him let them leave her. T take her out, take her out. I said, nah, let me get my lick back. He said, all right, come on. Squared up with her, kicked on her shit, and get the dog in her dumb ass. Stop playing with me. Bro. I kept saying, you and my stop playing with me. She sneak people all the time, so I'm gonna sneak her, and I'm gonna pull your her fucking hair out, all in the front, bitch. You want to get all that shit shaved off? Me, tell him. Blue had me in a fucking apartment, put up, paid, sending me money. That nigga was in love. I cut that nigga off because I didn't have time for that shit. But he back on. He back on. I ain't gonna lie. I only did that because she was pregnant and I felt bad. Now I'm going back to my motherfucking apartment, bitch. I'm fucking her man because that's some good ass. And he throw up the gang signs every time he hit this bitch from the back. That's why, bitch. And I forget, bitch. And just for that, I'm about to be pregnant. Something about a bitch that's mad make me want to make her madder. And she about to be sucking her. <laughs> With no tooth. At least I got my teeth. When we was at the Popeyes, and you kept calling, you was like, "I'm gonna pull up to the uh to the blue girls and fight girls in there to find out who you fuck with." Yeah, he left cause he didn't want you, you to put your it? hands on me, baby. Ready? Mmm. -hmm. Good ass dick. Bitch. I'm the one that pressed decline on your call at Popeyes, and that's what had you calling them a hundred times. You insecure. You in a whole mansion with him, and you worried about me in a condo? No, you shouldn't be. No, that's crazy to me. It really ain't no flex, cuz oh, you talking about you fucking on this girl, nigga. My just broke dick because you said this Krishan money that he's spending on you that's in his bank account. That's not a flex, baby. And that makes sense. That's why that's why Krishan ain't leaving that man. Because if that if all her money is in that man's bank account, and everything, he control that girl. And she don't she won't leave him because she gonna be broke because he got all the money. It's in his account. That's crazy. It's just a whole lot. They go through so much. So then she goes and shows how he talks to her behind the scenes, like the text messages they go through, how she's always trying to support him, do this, be there for him, have respect for his people. And what got me was he'll go on social media and he'll say, oh, I won't have an abortion. I want her to do this. I want her to do that. But then you text the girl telling her, oh, I'm going to be a good dad for your mind and your baby too. Like I tried to tell y'all, y'all was like, no, it's Krishan. She crazy. No, the girl is crazy in lust. That's what she is. She... She done slept with this man and got soul ties. This girl is delusional, lost, and gone, and she needs to get herself back. <laughs> son, listen. listen be son. gone, baby, be gone. The bitch said, oh. yeah, I told, I told Lemmy I'm thinking about doing Baddie's East. Tell Lemmy. I said, Baddie's East? Bitch, you pregnant. When, how you going to do Baddie's East? She said, oh, I don't think. I think they'll be shooting like after I had the baby already. I said, "Who gonna watch the baby? <laughs> Me?" <Who? laughs> she says, "You." Please. 
Please. Son. Please. Son. What? Have I ever watched you said, the baby's not going to stop me from going on the road and getting money and hustling and doing what I need to do? I said, who going to watch the baby while you on the road hustling? She said, I'm going to have an on the road nanny. Bitch, if you think you finna take my newborn baby from the day she born to the day she's at least three years old on a road anywhere, on a plane, on a tour bus for longer than 48 hours, you're smoking dick. <laughs> Bitch, this is a baby. They have ear problems, easy sicknesses, easy sinuses. Bitch, you're finna be at home in the house, trapped, locked in with a baby. And when I leave the house, you're going to be at home with the baby. It's, I'm not telling the bitch to get an abortion for me. I'm telling her to get an abortion for her. She's not ready. So earlier today, I'm picking this bitch brain. And I'm just trying to figure out what's the game plan, right? She telling me about baddies and and all this shit. So I'm like, you fit to have a baby. Like, what are you going to do? Like, you're, you're going to be in charge of the baby. I'm not in charge of the baby. Everybody knows when women have babies, they're destined to be the nurturing, caring, in charge of the baby, right? This bitch keeps saying, I'm going on the road. I'm going to get this money. I'm going to keep hustling. I'm looking at the bitch like, who's going to be watching the baby while you're doing this? Bitch says she's going to have an on the road nanny. Oh, my God. Cause he gonna take it to Twitter. What's up? We both feel like apparently we settle it, so we're destroying each other, my nigga. We literally destroying each other, like real live, like. The only reason why he popping it the way he popping it, following the people he following on purpose. Because he feel like he's settling. So if you feel like we settling, what are we doing, yo? Right. Right. The, oh, this baby, the baby's already here. It's big as shit, brother. Right when I see my stomach, I'm like, oh, it must be like two months. You feel me? I'm, I'm five. I'm five months. No. Like. What? No! What are you saying? Like, for real, bro? Okay, so no! Now what? Okay, so do we part ways? Do we stop settling? Do we move around? Do I start looking for homes? Like, stop saying other shit and then, like, real life destroying me on this social media, my nigga. We real life. He lost fights because of me. Us fighting. That ain't good business. Vice versa. I'm just going to take accountability to me. I'm not saying anything he doing wrong. You feel me? So, like, all right, uh -oh. obviously, you feel me? We destroying each other. This is just crazy and it's it's sad. It's sad to see somebody mentally breaking down like that and don't even know that they're they're hurting themselves instead of just walking away. And I know it's easier said than done, but baby, oh, can she not just go back and look at these videos and see? All right, child. Well, if it ain't about me. Let's kick it. Let's case. All right, you guys. That's all I got for uh, Mr. Monday. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, 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 like this video. Comment. Y'all mix and mingle. Talk shit down there. Cut somebody out if you got to. This is Mr. Monday. Be the bitch ass in the comments. All right. God only make one you. Look at us talking about God. And if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And I will see you next Monday. Next case. Oh,
whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on.